Okay, you're right. Welcome to your video tutorial. Today we are going to look at angles within a triangle. And there's a triangle cat. <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, a triangle is a polygon that has three sides. Knowing the properties of triangles can help us solve many geometrical problems and it can be extended to explore really weird shapes. Okay, so something that does not appear to be a triangle like my weird triangle cat. Okay, if you know the properties of a triangle, you can actually solve some pretty weird geometric problems. The first thing that I want you to have like bold and circled and underlined is this idea. That the interior angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. That means no matter what, the size, the shape, the type of triangle, okay, all of the angles, one, two, and three angles that's inside a triangle will always add up to 180 degrees. So you can classify triangles either by their side length or by their um, interior angles. Now, you guys know this. You have been doing classified, uh, triangles classified by side lengths since year seven. Scalene, all sides are uh, different length. Isosceles, two sides are equal. And if two sides are equal, it means that and that. Two angles in there are also equal. Equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. And so if all sides are equal, it also means that all angles are equal on the inside as well. So if they all add up to 180 and they're all equal, 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. Okay, you know this. This is why I printed out these tables for you. And so triangles classified by the size of their angles or their interior angles, acute angles. Okay, um, all angles are less than 90 degrees. Okay, all of them have to be less because a right angle triangle can at least have one acute angle in it. Look, I've got an acute angle there and an acute angle there. Okay, but I don't classify it as an acute angle triangle because it has one right angle in it and it's therefore a right angled triangle. Now, an obtuse angled triangle, look, also got an acute angle there and there, but there's one obtuse. So all that is needed for obtuse angle, um, angled triangle is one obtuse angle, okay? So a triangle is able to be both classified by its interior angles and by its sides. It doesn't just have to be one or the other, okay? So you can have, I don't know, a scalene acute angled triangle, Okay, or you could have a um, equilateral acute triangle. Okay, because again, equilateral, all those angles are going to be 60. So they're all less than 90 degrees. So to be both an acute angle triangle and an equilateral, it doesn't have to be one or the other. So what could you be asked to do knowing these few fun facts that we have learnt today? Well, you know that the interior angle sum of a triangle is 180. You might be able to ask to find a missing angle. So... If it's all 180, the A, oops, sorry, I might write that again. A would be equal to 180, subtract 38, subtract 29. Let's see if I can do that in my head. Um, okay, so 108 subtract 30 plus 20 is 50. 180 subtract 50 is 130. Okay. Subtract another 9, that gets me to 121. Subtract another 8, that's 121. 120 um, is 13. So my answer for this one is 113 degrees. Okay, now quick way to check that. 113 plus 29 plus 38, boom, 180. Okay, let's look at this example now. Um, now, this seems odd, okay? In the last one, you would have noticed that I've been given two angles and asked to find the last one. How in the earth am I meant to find out this? Sorry, that was my phone turning on. How in the earth am I meant to find out this one here if I've only been given one? Well, there's something else I know. Using my knowledge of different, ang uh, different triangles classified by their sides, I know the two markings here mean that that side there and this side here are equal. If those two sides are equal, these two sides are going to be equal as well. Okay, so now what can I do to find that out? Well, why don't I work out what both of those two sides are together? So 180 minus 26 would give me 180 minus 20 is 160. Minus, see if you know what I'm doing, I'm just partitioning this number. 
So 180 minus 20 is 160. Minus another 6 is 154. Okay, so this guy here plus that guy there is 154. So in order to work out what A is, if they're both the same size, I divide 154 by 2. And again, I'm going to do it in my head. 150 divided by 2 is 75. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So 75 plus 2 is 77 degrees. Okay, quick way you can check to see if you're right is 77 plus 77 plus 26. It should equal 180, and it does, which means I got my answer correct. And that's it, guys. That's internal angles of a triangle and solving different geometric problems, knowing the size and properties of triangles.